Excuse me. Do you have any books about making friends? Um, yeah, but they're all for little kids. Well, I assume the skills can be extrapolated and transferred. Uh, I guess they're right over there by the wooden train set. Oh, I love trains. <laughs> I bet you do. Oh, well, here we go. Stu the Cockatoo is new at the zoo. <laughs> Author Sarah Carpenter lives in Fort Wayne, Indiana, with her husband and best friend, Mark, and their cockatoo, Stu. <laughs> Hardly makes her an expert in making friends, wouldn't you agree? I don't like birds. They scare me. Me too. Most people don't see it. <laughs> What are you reading? Curious George. Oh, I do like monkeys. Curious George's monkey. Somewhat anthropomorphized, but yes. <laughs> Say, maybe sometime you and I could go see monkeys together. Would you like that? Okay. Sheldon, what are you doing? I'm making friends with this little girl. What's your name? Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. I'm your new friend, Sheldon. Now, now let's go. You're just in time. I believe I've isolated the algorithm for making friends. Sheldon, there is no algorithm for making friends. Uh -oh, hear him out. If he's really onto something, we could open a booth at Comic Con, make a fortune. <laughs> See, my initial approach to Kripke had the same deficiencies as those that plagued Stu the Cockatoo when he was new at the zoo. <laughs> Do the cockatoo? Yes. He's new at the zoo. It's a terrific book. I've distilled its essence into a simple flow chart that will guide me through the process. Have you thought about putting him in a crate while you're out of the apartment? <laughs> Hello, Kripke. Yeah, Sheldon Cooper here. It occurred to me that you hadn't returned any of my calls because I hadn't offered any concrete suggestions for pursuing our friendship. Yeah, perhaps the two of us might share a meal together. Yeah, I see. Well, then perhaps you'd have time for a hot beverage. <laughs> Popular choices include tea, coffee, cocoa. I see. No, 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 wait, don't hang up yet. But what about a recreational activity? I bet we share some common interests. You tell me an interest of yours. You, really? On actual horses? <laughs> tell me another interest of yours. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I have no desire to get in the water till I absolutely have to. <laughs> Tell me another interest of yours. Uh-oh, he's stuck in an infinite loop. I can fix it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting, but isn't ventriloquism by definition a solo activity? <laughs> yeah. Wait, tell me another interest of yours. Hmm. Is there any chance you like monkeys? <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with you? Everybody likes monkeys. <laughs> Hang on, Kripke. A loop counter and an escape to the least objectionable activity. Howard, that's brilliant. I'm surprised you saw that. <laughs> Gee, why can't Sheldon make friends? <laughs> All right, Kripke, that last interest strikes me as the least objectionable, and I would like to propose that we do that together tomorrow. Yes, I'll pay. <laughs> All right, goodbye. All right. Time to learn rock climbing. <laughs>